Welcome back to Farm and Hammer everyone. It's a terribly windy day, so I'm gonna try to try to talk when the wind's not blowing or talk while I'm in the truck, just so the wind noise isn't terrible. If the wind noise is bad, I apologize. So earlier last week, I bought three bred cows. So I bought the three bred cows from the cow sale on Monday. Since the one on Saturday was a replacement sale, most of the cows there are gonna be out of my price range. So I wasn't really expecting to come home with any, but I ended up buying seven of them, actually. Um, they were some of the lower quality animals at the sale. Um, then there were a couple I bid on that I didn't didn't get, but I did record unloading them yesterday out here onto the pasture. Um, but I wasn't able to record anything else because the wind yesterday was even worse. So so I'll give you a little more information on them today. And I'm coming out here this morning. I just moved them. I saw one of the ones I bought yesterday. She's out here by herself, and it was one of the heifers. So that does kind of concern me. Um, she was making an udder, so she either calved, or she's having trouble, or she injured herself. So I moved the other ones to keep them distracted while I check her out. She's got a calf sticking out. Here she is running off. She's got a head and a leg sticking out. Um, definitely not good. Uh, calf looks dead just from here. Um, I did come out last night to give him a little bit more grass and she wasn't even trying. So um, that is the risk of buying bred heifers that you don't know what they're bred to and just calving out heifers in general. That calf may not even be that big, but she may have just given up when it was halfway out. So, change of plans now. I'm gonna try to rig up the electric fence so I can funnel her into the corral, unless she'll have this calf on her own while she's running around, but I don't think she will. Well guys, it's been many hours later and uh, this heifer would not cooperate whatsoever. I convinced the entire herd to go into the corral. Um, she had already come at me once when I was just walking in the field, but got the whole herd in the corral. And then of course, right when I was trying to shut the gate, she came after me, hit the gate, knocked me back, and she ran out. So nothing was going right. And then after about two hours of still trying to chase her in the corral, I gave up and uh, and then she started trying to hit the truck. So then while she was trying to hit the truck, I had the rope in the cab. Since the calf's head and front leg were sticking out, I just, luckily I was able to hook it behind uh, the calf's leg. And uh, then of course she started pulling on it and I was trying to hold on to it while I'm driving. And then of course, right when I hopped out to try to hook it onto the truck, uh, she acted like she wanted to get me. Um, but luckily I was able to, I got two wraps on, I got two wraps on the ball hitch, um, while she was trying to pull away from me. And then I, then I convinced her to chase after me and come closer to the truck. And then I wrapped three more, hopped in the, <laughs> hopped in the bed. And, uh, and then it was another hour of trying to pull the calf out. Um. Obviously the calf was dead, already dead when I found it. Um, and it had one leg back, one front leg was out. This leg here was pulled back, so she couldn't get it out. Um, she eventually laid down, and I think she was in so much pain she just sat there for me. And, uh, and uh, got the calf pulled out. I'll, I'll be interested to see if she can And that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> she chased me halfway around the truck. Uh, she is walking, she's walking a little strange, um, but at least she's walking. Hopefully she's not paralyzed from that. 
So that's one good thing. She can at least walk, that's good. I was gonna try to put another calf on her, see if she'd adopt one, but that was not gonna happen. Uh, especially if I couldn't get her in the corral. So anyway, what am I gonna do with her? Graze, I'm gonna graze her out here with the rest of the herd, since I can't really catch her. And then when these steers are ready to sell, I'll just catch them all at once, get them all used to coming in for feed, catch her and sell her as a fat heifer. So she'll probably bring 1200 bucks if I can get her fattened up by the end of summer. Um, I paid 800, 850 for So even a two or $300 return won't be too bad if I can keep her alive and get her fat. But anyway, I can't really expect cows to be nice when they're in that much pain, um, but I don't expect them to be that mean either. This is a pretty difficult pull because of course she went down right in this thistle patch here. Um, so I was trying to sit on my knees and get both arms in there. And uh, I didn't have gloves with me of course, so that's not good, but she was gonna die if I didn't get the calf out, so. Anyway, I said at the beginning of this video I would introduce the new cows. He got introduced to one of them. I bought her, brought her home yesterday, and uh, she had to have a calf pulled today. Anyway, she tore up all my electric fences when I was trying to get her in. Um, so I've got to try to get those fixed before tonight. But I'll still try to give you a tour of some of the new ones. All of these are old. There's that hopefully half Wagyu calf and his mother, an old cow there. He's doing well. Of course, got all the bottle babies. There is the other new one that I don't think you've gotten a great look at yet. Um, it's a little heifer out of that small little cow there. There's the other new white park out of that long horn there. Um, then there's a new heifer, the Charlet there with the yellow tag. Um, these four Charlets that I bought, they're all first time heifers, which now that I've dealt with that craziness with that heifer, <clears throat> I'm hoping these don't have any trouble. But uh, these four heifers I bought, these white ones, they're all tall and lanky. Um, they only weigh 720 pounds. Um, they just need some groceries. So they've been underfed, so they're just tall and skinny. Um, they're still third stage bred, but they need some grass. And uh, luckily I've got it. Um, it'll just take them a little while to put the pounds on. Hopefully they're not gonna cow for another month or two. That way they can get into shape before, uh, before they calve. That's not a new one there. Um, there's number four. Last video I told you she was acting sick, just really skinny, acted like she had diarrhea. She has since made a 180. Um, she looks a whole lot better. She's starting to fill up and uh, she's not acting weird like she used to. <laughs> I don't know how else to explain it, but anyway, her stomach's starting to fill out. She's acting better, so. Anyway, hopefully she is moving in the right direction. There's three of the other Charlet heifers walking off there. Um, they are, they're not wild, but they're just not used to people. Anyway, then the other two, I bought one five-year-old third stage Charlet cow, which would be this one right here. Um, she was heavily discounted because she does have a gash on her back leg there. Looks like a blue heeler or something, dog bitter. Um, so she does have a gash. She does limp on it right now, but I'm thinking she'll recover as long as it doesn't get infected. Um, but I'm keeping an eye on her, um, checking her every day, making sure, making sure it doesn't start swelling or anything. And then the last one is this dairy beef cross cow. Um, she was also discounted, of course, because she's part beef or part dairy. Uh, but she's third stage bred, she's six years old. Um, she ought to raise a nice calf. Hopefully she's bred to beef. She came out of a beef herd, so that's what I'm hoping. But Anyway, I told you I was trying to get the cow into the corral. And you may remember I said on this rental property, there are no corrals besides my portable panels I brought out here. Uh, and I still didn't have an alley or a head gate. I did just get a portable head chute. Of course, I was trying to use the new chute with the heifer and uh, of course she wouldn't go in there. She wouldn't even let me get her in the corral. So didn't get to use it, but I might as well show you, show you that uh, while I got it. 
So anyway guys, here's a new squeeze chute. Um, as you can tell, it is super old. Um, it has seen better days, but I've been shopping for these things for a long time, trying to find a cheap used one, and they just never, never came. So I got one from someone that lived close by, actually hauls calves for us. So um, he happened to be selling one, listed a couple days ago, um, and I ended up just pulling the trigger on it today. So anyway, there's, there's a lot of things that need to be fixed. But this is an automatic catch head gate, which is great out here because I'm doing this all by myself, so. Open it to the right width and uh, cow runs through, puts her neck through. This will close on her shoulders and she's locked in. And then when you're done working her, Let her out the front. Obviously, I'd be taking these off. There's the squeeze portion. And then of course the bottom is adjustable as well. I'm gonna put some new hedge boards on this. Reweld that piece there. Um, and then the bottom also squeezes in. Right now it's held in by a screwdriver, but it works. And then the stop. And then the stop gate in the back, it needs a new rope, but the rope does. It does still work, let the cow shove it on her. So. Anyway, you can see the tires and posts out here. Uh, this is, this chute is fully portable. So, you stick that onto there. You just pull on the pipe, it sticks the tire underneath the chute. And then you lock it on, do the same thing to the other side, and you can just pull it to your next farm or whatever you want to do. So that was a nice thing. Um, I can, I'll mostly be using the chute here, but if we need it at a different property, I can slap the wheels on, um, pull it over there, and we can use it somewhere else. But once I'm done using it this spring, I am going to take it home. Like I said, I'm going to put new boards on it. Probably going to grind it all down, repaint it, um, since I'm putting new boards on, give it a new rope. Um, re-weld some things and just just clean it up a bit make it look a little bit nicer and uh, make it a little bit more functional but yeah there's a new shoot anyway guys I know this video didn't have a whole lot of action in it but I hope you still enjoyed it um, next week's video I'll have some more updates for you all on the other cow herd the one that's actually going well and uh, anyway with that being said thank you for watching and I'll see you all next time